13th February, Orion Face, 8 hours, Chair Marshal R.C. Smith, through Leeds. Well, Orion really is the daddy of them all, I guess. Uh, none of those climbs be considered as lesser climbs in some ways, but the Orion is the plumb line. And the ascent of the Orion is just phenomenal. I've done it a few times and I've had two horrendous rescues of people who've come to grief on it, being lowered down it. So phenomenal. Probably one of the greater, uh, if not the greatest, one of the greater ice climbs ever in Scotland. Biggest mountain in Britain, one of the longest ice climbs in Britain, it's got everything. It's just wonderful climbing, you know. You, know, you just sort of jump, 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 jump. And you just, as fast as you can up this slope. There's quite a bit of fixed rope up here. Although it's not the, the technically hardest route of the, the routes that they did, it's definitely the most uh, impressive overall, just because of the scale, the sheer scale of it. One of the biggest ice climbs in, in the UK. It really does feel like you're on a big alpine face. break of dawn I turn my heels to sunrise Waiting to feel strong And start the day anew Still I feel so cold To leave you there so lonely The visions that we shared Still linger in my mind At the break of dawn I turn my heels to sunrise Waiting to feel strong And start the day anew Just believing it's for fools Whose challenge is forgotten Whispering the rules Like mantras in their minds break of dawn I turn my heels to sunrise Starting to feel strong I pull myself from you And slipping out the door I pull my coat close to me Waiting for the sun it's light to warm me through It's light to warm me through It's light to warm me through When you're up on the Orion face in the middle of the winter, a thousand feet up, which is about two thirds of the way, it's a very serious place to be. And to be up there with one axe chopping steps is pretty phenomenal stuff, you know. So, and then of course, as with any of those big routes, the biggest problem is finding belays, you know, and they did not have the amount of equipment that we now have to find the belay. I find Nevis belay here. Ice crew sticking out far enough to 
hang the ropes on nicely. <laughs> I was actually worried it might it might come out just from the weight of the rope. <laughs> uh, everywhere I put the screws, it was just like right, and this is just a bit two inches deep, and this is like totally hollow. <laughs> <laughs> Textbook. <laughs> So there'll be no falling off. <laughs> the final sort of pictures of that wall, you know, are splendid. And we had we had just expected to go sort of straight up, but there was a lot of avalanching drift under the steeper part, you know, and it was quite dicey. And there was this lovely groove, and another one, you know. So it, I just went up cutting steps into it. And then uh, there was a huge sort of cornice overhanging that one. So I thought, I better go over. So I had to traverse into the next. That was across one of these vertical granite slab things, you know, with about an inch of ice on it. So I was cutting fancy wee holes in it and tiptoeing across this, you know, and then round into the corner. It's still easily one of the best winter routes I've ever done. And I think for many climbers, will be also. It's the nearest Scotland has to an alpine route, alpine in length and difficulty. It's just a wonderful excursion on a huge face, the pinnacle of the pinnacle if you like. <laughs>